Hey, welcome back. This is Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker from Antelope Valley Florist. Aaron Goldstein, co-host, Goldstein Digital. How you doing? Doing well. Happy Saturday. Hey, tonight we're going to go have spaghetti out there awesome. in yeah, Leona Valley. Four o'clock. Can't wait. <laughs> Who's our next guest? Our next guest is Matt Hassong from Height Athletic Center. Height. How do you spell that? Height is spelled H-Y-H-T. Where'd you come up with that? So height comes from an old English word. It stands for hope, trust, and expectations. Oh, so wow. when we were rebranding after a Monster Sports Center, we decided to come up with that because it kind of we, we like the symbiotic relation between uh, as you trust yourself, you accomplish more of your goals, and as you trust the process and your coaching and everything like that. So, so that's like my first question. There's a lot of uh, gyms out there, a lot of sports fitness, a lot of uh, different fitness programs, and that sounds like that's kind of what helps set you apart from all the other. Yeah, definitely, and it's a, it's kind of a, a new age uh, word. I mean, you know, like lift is using Y, and, and then they have gift with G-Y-F-T, so it kind of it kind of fit and aligned with that, so um, we, we ended up changing our slogan a little while back because people keep using uh, H-Y-H-T instead of just saying height. And so uh, the, enun the enunciation of the word was kind of an issue. So we ended up changing our slogan to uh, get it right, get it height. So, I like it. Yeah, uh, we do injury prevention across the board. So that's uh, every program that we offer is integrated in with uh, injury prevention techniques. So we use foam rolling and corrective exercises to identify compensation patterns before they arise so we can we can deal with injuries on the uh, the, the flip side instead of dealing with it after it occurs we, we start to identify them before they actually come up and sometimes you're in a class to fix something yeah definitely yeah. Um, exactly and we have uh, a, a lot of people come in with you know their own um, injuries that they've already developed from from their life either you know we, we deal with a lot of athletes but also just weekend warriors so to speak so we have people coming in with knee injuries all the time and then they're wanting to get back into shape so we we say all right you know you've got to come in the door we've got to work on some of your issues that you already have warm those up properly so then we can actually get into you know strengthening and, and then working on actually building the dynamics of fitness in different ways and clients of all ages yeah, uh, so we just started a Mommy and Me class, which is uh, starts at six months old. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we're working on, you know, basic uh, muscle activation, both in the legs, crawling movements, if the parents, you know, want to kind of get the, the their kids up and rolling a little bit quicker. Parents are involved. Yeah, yeah, in the Mommy and Me classes. And then uh, we go all the way, and I believe our oldest that we have uh, is 72, so six months. Oh, so my wife old. is not the oldest anymore. No, she's not. <laughs> Why does she enjoy the classes? Why does Lors enjoy the classes so much? Um, I believe Lors enjoys the, the community approach. As far as from the CrossFit standpoint, you have a, a, a community that... Uh, builds accountability. It's it's a very encouraging environment. So instead of just oh I've got to go work out today, it's I get to go work out today. I I've, I've got to go see my 6 p.m. crew, yeah. kind of kind of thing. And uh, you always have a coach with you, so it's group personal training. So you go in, you don't have to think about what you're going to work out. You the program's already written and defined for you. You go in, your coach helps you gear the warm up. They do. Uh, the strength portion and then they go into the workout and the rule of the, the the part that I like the most is at the very end of the workout you're not allowed to put away your equipment until everybody is finished with their workout so the loudest cheers are actually for the last person to finish the workout so it's, it's very encouraging and you never feel like oh I'm inadequate or anything like that it's everybody scales the workout to their own fitness levels you know like Loris comes in she's doing the same workout I am but you know maybe different weights she's dealing with dynamics that she can deal with you know she's pushing her own boundaries in her own way yeah. but uh, we can still kind of respect each other that we're both pushing our limits at the same time PB or PR personal R 
personal record. record. Yeah. yeah, PRs. Yeah. She so we have a... told me that. <laughs> when she's healthy enough, you know, she's got a some kind of uh, bronchitis going on right now. Oh yeah, I know everybody's kind and, of. And you're sharing concerns. her with. Uh, she's a multidisciplined person, so you know she's got some skiing going on too. Oh yeah, I know. She's she's funny. She we always lose her during the winter seasons because she's out, you know, competing and everything like that. So. But which is which is awesome too because she actually used CrossFit to fight osteoporosis. So she brought her her um, diagnosis of osteoporosis back to osteopenia, which is which is pretty awesome. Which and she was building the bone density back up. So which was really important for her because she didn't want to give up her skiing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, some of the senior skiers up at Mammoth don't realize you need training during the sum during the off season. Oh yeah. Well, I tell all of my athletes all the time. It's it's not only what you do in season, but it's what you do off season too. You know what I mean? If if you're just living a sedentary lifestyle and then hopping right back into a competitive sport, I mean, you're you're just asking for injuries. How many instructors do you have over there at Height? Oh, I believe we are sitting around about 12. 12 instructors and two massage therapists currently. And I, I don't think we've talked about where the uh, where it is. Oh. Where are you located? Yeah, we're located in the Lancaster Marketplace on the freeway side, so the northeast side of the Lancaster Marketplace. You can see us right off the freeway on Avenue I. I always see people running along the freeway and pushing tires. and. Oh, yeah, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> that's great that you have that back door. Yeah, no, and uh, even today, you know, it was raining, and we have the, the whole uh, running track on the front side, too, and that's uh, completely under a canopy, so... So we have the full running track and yeah. running and everything. So that was kind of nice. It's pretty quiet over there, so you have you can use that as a yeah as a shaded, exactly. shaded and out of the rain. Yeah. Can people just come by and check it out and talk with you and ask questions and? Yes. Yeah. We offer a free week across all of our programs. So except for the therapy side, that's that's on a scheduling basis. But on the CrossFit side, you know, we don't want people to to just sign up. We want them to make sure it's it's a fit for their schedule and it's a fit for their their fitness as well so and normally they'll they'll come in for the first day they'll be sore for the next day and then they'll come in the second day and normally sign up because they enjoy it so much so the question is uh, sports massage therapy adopts a different approach can you explain it yeah so we do a uh, we have a massage therapy uh, clinic inside of the the Hyde Athletic Center and what we do is a pretty detailed postural analysis so I come from both a, a medical background as far as an EMT and then also from an art background as far as uh, digital sculpting. Wow. So when I was going through massage therapy school, I was trying to figure out how I would understand or sculpt different compensation patterns or like if I had somebody with a, a shoulder impingement, what would that look like and how would I get the measurements to actually sculpt them um, outside of having them stand in front of me, you know what I mean? So what we do is uh, six measurements on the shoulders and then four on the hips. So that way we can get a 3D understanding of what's going on, where their muscles are being pulled, and what, uh, what their compensation patterns are coming from. Because sometimes uh, it's not just the shoulder that's, that's in injured that is uh, the culprit for the pain. It's maybe down the arm or up coming from the neck. You know what I mean? Um, the analogy I like to use is if you, uh, if you get... Uh, a 911 call in uh, in a bad area, the the police don't go to the area and then punch the person in the face that made the phone call because it wasn't the person who was identifying it. That's actually the culprit. It's it's somewhere in there and in a different dynamic. So it's 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 getting to the root cause of the pain and actually identifying where that's coming from. So this is a sport in injury, or this is uh, the mail carrier with a big bag on their shoulder. Or oh yeah. Definitely. So my my actual career is in injury prevention, and so uh, we we work with large corporations and actually detail out their injury prevention programs. And one of the biggest injury rates that we have are actually people who are sitting down for most of their their career. So um, it just it stretches out the glutes. Uh, the the glute muscle is kind of if you imagine a slinky, and you pull on the slinky and it breaks and then it won't go back in. The glute does that, and then it tightens the front of the hip, which will pull onto the lower back. So then you have lower back pain. But it's also reaching forward for your keyboard, or on the mouse, or driving. All of that pulls your shoulders forward, and then starts to to irritate your shoulder and and bring you along that uh, 
shoulder impingement continuum. So, are you over there every day? Do you work every day? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, my wife and I, we we're normally there in the mornings. We have our little ten-month-old son, so he's he's at the gym with us. And then uh, normally we uh, we're either coaching or I'm doing massages or or even taking the classes because uh, Brooke and I always hop into the the classes as well. So it's it's. Part of the culture. I mean, we uh, we love what we do. And I was going to say you're having fun. Yeah. This one definitely. brochure about rhythm. What's that? Okay, so rhythm is the newest expansion that we just created, and that is our dance program. So we're building a Zumba program. We have yoga that is taught by Ashley Seeger, who does our Spartan training, and then we also uh, we have a whole break dancing class, uh, hip hop and break dancing. So break dancing just got inducted into the Olympics. So we're really excited really? about that. Yeah. Nice. Um, so it's a, there's a youth division and an adult division. So they're trying to the the Olympic Committee is trying to target a little bit more of the youth. So that's their way of uh, bringing in some of the the younger generations. And we're really excited about it because I mean we already had our program running, and so we have uh, quite a few classes that are that are significantly full, and the kids just absolutely love it. You'll see the kids just drenched in sweat afterward, but they'll be laughing and, and just having so much fun. But they're getting a good workout, and we use the the freezes from break dancing to actually build the rotator cuff and, and leg strength for the kids. So if they want to go into any other sport afterward, it's a great foundation. And this is all in your facility over there at the marketplace. Yeah, it's all at the Hyde Athletic Center. You got a lot going on. Yeah, it's a uh, it's kind of all of my different interests and talents that all smashed into one. You've got them all in there? There's yeah. More, there's more. But wait, there's more. The, well, uh, that's I a mean, lot. Gymnastics, we have the CrossFit, we have the dance program, uh, and then the therapy. So. And uh, burpee backflips. Yes, oh, that's uh, one of the, the world records that I'm trying to break is uh, the burpee backflip in one minute. So. That's a great video, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm at 18 and the world record is 20, so. I'm going to keep pushing for it and seeing if I can uh, get it accomplished this year. Well, thank you for being a member of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been great. Matthew Hassan.